Here we go again, a nice little puzzle where there is white to move and win. It's pretty obvious the direction of the pawns here, of course. Black is going down and we are going up. So, white on the move here. Can you find out how we are winning? Even though we are two pawns down, white will win this if we play it right. So, pause your video now, go ahead and think about all the uh, options you have and see which one you choose for a victory as white. Go ahead. All right, welcome back. So, here we go. Uh, let me just uh, look at this move, which is not right. Might seem good. We are threatening the, the rook and also the bishop. But actually, black can just ignore this. Take here on f3. And if we take this with a check, black will move his king with a discovered check and then take the, the knight back. And black is up three pawns. Uh, so that's not good, of course. What if we take this uh, rook then? Well, black will just take back. We get the pawn here. And black move his bishop to, to protect this f pawn. And now it's only rook and a pawn against the bishop and three pawns. This is, this is going to be a draw. This is not winning for white. At least not easy. Uh, so it's not the solution for this puzzle anyway. Okay, so what is the solution then? Well, here we go. First move looks pretty obvious, actually. F4, check. Now Black's king can only go to two uh, squares. And you see, of course, what happens if he goes to the F5 square. We have a check here. He's forced away, and we are taking his rook, and we are a rook up, which is, of course, easy win for white. So... After f4 check, black needs to go to d5. And now, what happens here? It's not that obvious. Have you seen it? Or do you want to pause the video again? Go ahead in that case. Because here it comes. We continue with f5. I know the pawn is not protected, but it's still a very good move. Uh, we have a fork here. And of course... Black is more or less forced to take this. If you want to move his, his rook away somewhere, well, this is very good for white, and we will win this in the end. This pawn is good. We are threatening here. We will get our knight to f4. So let's say black is forced to take this with his bishop. Okay, and now, why did we move this pawn? Well, of course, we want this free this square for our knight so we can follow up with knight f4 check again black only has one one square to go to e5 but now i mean it looks good we can take here but really black will just take back we take here and again this is not winning for white we have a rook for sure but only one pawn Black has three pawns, they are connected, and a bishop, and a strong position with the king. This is not winning. So, why did we go with our knight to f4 then, to threaten this uh, rook to get this fork, if we cannot take the rook? Well, we have something else much smarter to do here as white. Can you see it? Pause the video again if you need, because here it comes. This is beautiful. Rook d1. What is this threatening? Well, it's threatening checkmate in one. Look at that. And, I mean, the bishop cannot move. It doesn't help. It doesn't help to move the uh, rook either. The king cannot move. Neither can those two pawns. So only way for black not to be checkmated in the next move is to play c6 and protect this square. All right. And again, how do we finish this off as white? Can you see it? Here it comes. We don't care that he protects this square. We play rook d5 check. Anyway, this is so beautiful. And why do we do this? Well, we need to force black to get his pawn into this also. Now this king is really fenced in by its own pieces. 
and we can finish this off beautifully with knight d3 check uh, check i would say and of course black is forced to take only legal move and what do we have left well we only have a pawn left but we don't mean need more than that because we have f4 checkmate so we just uh, decided to sacrifice all our pieces and give a checkmate with our last pawn and we are happy and we won this and it's so beautiful i hope you enjoyed it too please press like on the video share this with all your friends and uh, welcome back to my channel later on have a great day bye bye